Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hana and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And today we are going to Costco. Okay, friends, it has been a while since we have been on a Costco trip together, so I thought, hey, I will take you guys along today. I usually go to Costco about once a month, and this trip is actually probably not going to be super huge. But then again, it's Costco, so you never know. But there are a lot of new things at Costco since the last time that I have made a Costco haul video. It's been about six months. There's some new products that we have found. And so I'll be sharing those with you guys today. And I hear that there are some new kosher gluten-free items as well. So we are excited to get in there and get to shopping. And what I will do is take you all shopping with me. And then when we get home, I will show you everything that we bought and give you the grand total. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so this is something that I heard about and it's true. The char bread is now gluten-free and kosher. So the char bread was always gluten-free and I've heard this is like the best brand of gluten-free bread and we've never tried it. And because that is now kosher, we are gonna go home and be able to try that. Okay, I think we've got everything that we need, so we're gonna go check out and then head home and show you what we bought. Is everybody buckled? Yeah. No. Is everybody buckled? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna head home now. The car is all loaded up. There was like one thing that they did not have at Costco that I was really hoping that they would have. It was this uh, frozen package of veggies that I'm actually really bummed that they didn't have because <laughs> they were really good, but that's okay. Hopefully it's just like a temporary thing and they just were out today and not forever. So I'll check for that next time I go to Costco. All right, let's head home and I'll show you guys what we bought. Hey folks, okay, so we are back home now and I'm ready to show you what we bought. Okay. First off, we had that Char brand gluten-free bread. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to be able to try this. This is made with sourdough, so mm, I've been wanting to try this for years. So very excited to try this one. We just bought the one package of that that comes with two loaves, just so we could try it out and make sure that we do like it. All right, milk, <laughs> pretty standard stuff. You gotta have milk. This one was a treat that I bought for my 
myself. Okay, though it is gluten-free, so I can totally share it with the family, but they had these sea salt caramels. I absolutely love caramel, especially with salt, so pretty stoked to try these too. All right, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, definitely a favorite in this house, and we go through it pretty quick. This is what I wanted to put on those frozen veggies, which of course they did not have at Costco. Uh, but yeah, easiest recipe ever. You just take the frozen veggies, put some of this on there, cook them, you're done. Because the veggies already come fully cooked. But they weren't there. But when next time they have them, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But anyways, barbecue sauce. I got cheese. I got us a package of the cheddar mix and of the mozzarella. So we use this one for things like pizza and we use this one for things like quesadillas totally go through these, need them every month. Pirate's Booty, favorite snack of my kids. I'd let them pick one snack at the store this time because we had a lot of snacks already here in the pantry still. So they just picked this one and that was good with me. Honey, I get honey every time I go to Costco just because I use it in my baking a lot. So yeah, just. I always grab one whether I think I need it or not. Tortillas, we get the corn tortillas because they are gluten-free and yeah, we go through these a lot too between tacos and quesadillas and all the fun things like that. We go through about a bag of these a month, love them. This has become a favorite snack of my kids, these little granola mini bites. Uh, so yeah, these are super fun and of course gluten-free and kosher and all that jazz, just like everything in this shopping trip. I probably don't need to say that. But yeah, the kids absolutely love these, especially my oldest. So we pretty much have been grabbing these now every time we go to Costco also. I've shown you guys these before, these little gluten-free pita type breads. My kids love these and they do make really fun little sandwiches too. We heat it up in the oven for a minute, just like shove some deli meat or something in there. And yeah, the kids love them. Super easy, fun meal. All right, so this kind of cracked me up a little bit. <laughs> Where's the cover? Okay, sardines. My oldest was like, I need sardines. And I was like, okay, we'll get you sardines. He has tried them before. I know that he likes them. It just still cracks me up that he enjoys them this much. So he's now fully stocked on sardines. And his plan is to eat those on some crackers. So we got these almond flour crackers, which we love and we buy every time we go. Actually got two boxes. All right, so these little fruit bars, we have gotten them before and I hadn't thought about them in a while, but they are super delicious. They ended up having someone there giving out samples and I was like, oh, we haven't seen these in a while. So we grabbed a box and the kids all got to try a sample, which was really fun because usually between kosher and gluten-free, we don't get to try the samples at the store. So it was a treat that they got to try one of the samples today. All right, so this is something new for us. So this product is not labeled as gluten-free, but when I look at the ingredients, it just says that it's processed on shared equipment. So there's like a possibility of cross-contamination with other allergens and it kind of like listed everything. So I don't know, we're gonna see how this goes for us, but there are no gluten ingredients in it. And I'll probably do a little research online also and see if anybody has tried these with celiac, if they've reacted to them. But otherwise, maybe the rest of us will eat it. But I thought this looked pretty fun. These little protein balls, you don't have to bake them or anything like that. Could be really fun, especially on a camping trip. So we will be trying these. If you guys have tried these, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear if they are good. Guacamole. I like to buy guacamole in these little containers because then the kids can just pull out, have a little bit, and there's not an issue of like the whole thing going brown before we finish it. So yeah, these are great. Cliff bars. So the cliff bars are not labeled as gluten-free and like the allergen statement says that it may contain wheat. We have never had an issue with these, so this is something that I'm comfortable giving my kids. And quite frankly, those are my two favorite flavors of Cliff Bar, so they will get eaten, no problem. 
another one that my son picked out. This is pumpkin seed granola. He loves to have granola on yogurt and so do I. So this is something that we will get to share for our breakfast. All right, I bought a bunch of tofu. We have not had tofu in a while. We are big fans of fried tofu as far as meals go. So I picked up this package and we'll be able to probably have fried tofu for dinner tonight. Speaking of meals, I picked up these for lunch today. So we'll have these with some fruit or something for lunch. It's just some smoked salmon. It comes with a honey mustard dill sauce. These are super delicious. We love these. So my oldest has already informed me he's going to be having sardines. I'll be eating these. All right, I picked up some jelly. This is the Bon Maman or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a really good jelly though. So I picked this up just cause I wanted to grab a few pantry staples while we were at Costco. Speaking of pantry staples, I grabbed us some mayonnaise because somebody left the mayonnaise out last night and I'm not gonna eat it after it's been sitting out on the counter for 12 hours. So I grabbed us a new one. Pickles, this is like the perfect little size pickle. I like to put these out on the table at third meal, especially if we have a lot of kids or it's a good snack on like Shabbat afternoon when our house is full of children and they can just kind of grab and go with these little pickles. But yeah, they're fun and it's something that I like to keep in the pantry as well. So I grabbed two of these, it's just heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna use these with some baking. I really wanna make some scones this month a few times. Kids really love scones. My neighbor's been asking me to make scones, so I bought these so that I can make scones. All right, and the last thing that I got is lemonade. It's getting hot outside, which means lemonade time. I super love lemonade, the kids love lemonade, and yeah good stuff even though it gives me heartburn right now but that's okay <laughs> all right that's everything we bought so we did pretty good as far as like staying around where I wanted to uh, and not buying too much stuff or anything like that so I am gonna go run grab the receipt and I will give you guys our final total for today okay I have got our receipt here and our total was $262.37 so I consider this an extremely reasonable Costco trip. This is probably the smallest Costco trip that I have had in quite a while. So I am happy about that. I feel like we only got what we needed, <laughs> though I wouldn't have minded buying like a little bit of home decor. I kind of looked around while we were there and they just didn't really have that much like in their camping stuff or their kind of pool outdoor stuff. I was kind of hoping for some pool toys or maybe something fun for the camp outs, but there just really wasn't anything there today, but that's okay. <laughs> So that's our total, that's our trip. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know how you like these haul videos down in the comments, I would love to hear. And if you'd like some other kinds of hauls, like a regular kosher grocery store or something like that, let me know, I would appreciate it. In the meantime, please hit that like button if you enjoyed and that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to see you here again. And with that, I will call this video a close. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I super appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. It wasn't veggie straws that I'm talking about. It's the one with the Brussels sprouts and stuff. Hey, Emma, do veggie straws have veggies in it? Do veggie straws have veggies? Yeah, it's just heavy whipping cream. Uh, I'm gonna use these with some baking. I want to. I really want to make some scones this month.